Welcome back to Brunyajum Academy of Abacus. With many years of extensive experience in teaching, now Brunyajum Academy is taking online classes worldwide. Also, our students hold national and world records in different categories of calculation. I am your Abacus teacher Dashmeet Kaur and today we will be starting with our first session that is introduction to Abacus and we will learn how to read and draw the beads. I hope you are excited to learn a new skill. For that, you have to shift to your study table or use table or chair as bed is not the best place to sit and study. So here we go, just shift to your study table and then we will start with our session. This is Master Abacus and today we will be learning on this tool and then we will move forward to the books. So you have to sit straight, you have to pay attention and you have to answer whenever I will be asking you a question. So let's begin. This is Master Abacus. What is this? Master Abacus. This is Student Abacus. What is this? Student Abacus. Okay, tell me what is this? Master Abacus, you have to answer me, okay? And what is this? Student Abacus. Good. Let's move further. You can see all these. These all are beads. What are all these? Beads. Okay, now you can see some beads are downwards and some beads are upwards. So, the beads which are downwards are earth beads. The beads which are downwards are earth beads. Yes. And the beads which are upwards are heaven beads. The beads which are upwards are heaven beads. It's clear? Let's just revise till here. What is this? Master Abacus. You have to answer. And what is this? Student Abacus. Good. Okay. So what are all these? Beads. The beads which are downwards? Earth beads. Yes. And the beads which are upwards? Heaven beads. It's clear till here? Let's move further. Now, the value of earth bead is 1. The value of earth bead is 1. Earth bead is this. So, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Har ek single earth bead ki value hoti hai 1. Clear? And the value of heaven bead is 5. The value of heaven bead is 5. 5. 5, 5, 5, 5. Clear? Now tell me, what is the value of earth B? 1. And the value of heaven B? 5. So let's just revise again. So, what is this? Master Abacus. You have to sit straight and you have to answer me. What is this? Student Abacus. What are all these? Beads. The beads which are downwards? Earth beads. The beads which are upwards? Heaven beads. Perfect. Value of earth bead? 1. Value of heaven bead? 5. Perfect. I hope it's clear till here. Now let's move further. Now you can see this line on which dots are there. Yes? We call it value bar. What do we call it? Value bar. Value bar. Repeat. Value bar. Yes. Now the question is why do we call it value bar? Just guess and then I will tell you why we call it value bar. Hurry up. Okay. We call it value bar because when or B and heaven bead. You have to repeat along with me. Okay? When earth bead and heaven bead touches the value bar, it will give you a value. When earth bead and heaven bead touches the value bar, 
इट विल गिव यू अ वैल्यू इट मीन्स कि कोई भी अर्थ बीट या हेवन बीट वैल्यू बार से टच करेगी तो वो आपको वैल्यू देगी राइट right? बट अगर कोई भी बीट वैल्यू बार से टच नहीं हो रही देन वैल्यू इज जीरो ओके अगर वन बीट भी टच हो रही है देन इट्स गिविंग यू अ वैल्यू बट अगर कोई भी बीट टच नहीं हो रही देन वैल्यू इज जीरो दैट्स वाई वी कॉल इट यस वैल्यू बार परफेक्ट नाउ लेट्स जस्ट रिवाइज स्टिल हेयर जस्ट सेट स्ट्रेट एंड यू हैव टू आंसर मी क्विकली ओके सो वॉट इज दिस हरिया master of abacus and what is this student of abacus what are all these beads the beads which are downwards earth beads the beads which are upwards heaven bead perfect value of earth bead one value of heaven bead Five. What is this? On which black dots are there? Value bar. What is this? Value bar. Why do we call it value bar? Because yes, when earth beat and heaven beat touches the value bar, it will give you a value. Perfect. I hope it's clear. now next now you can see this dot right we call it unit dot what do we call it unit dot again unit dot one more time unit dot perfect now you can see the rod below it we have different rods right the rod below the unit dot is ones rod you have learned place value in your school right So in this way we will be learning ones tens hundred on this abacus. The rod below the unit dot is ones rod. In school you say ones place. So here it's ones rod. On the left will be your tens rod. This rod is tens rod. On the left again it's hundreds rod. What is this? Hundreds rod. First tell me. What is this? This black dot, unit dot. Which dot? Unit dot. Perfect. The rod below it, ones rod. Which rod? Ones rod. On the left, tens rod. On the left is tens rod. Again on the left, hundreds rod. Which rod? Hundreds rod. Is it clear? ones tens hundreds kindly like share comment and subscribe our channel also tell us aapko hamare video kaisi lagi and which topic you want to learn next next and for more videos and for the notification kindly click on bell icon also we have recorded courses of our abacus on the website given below kindly go and visit that we have online courses for abacus and our short term courses Short term courses are Rubik cubes, handwriting improvement, Vedic maths, English grammar and spoken French etc. So to know more about our courses kindly visit our website www.brunadjit.com. New batches are starting soon for all our courses. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now. Brunadjit Academy is providing a backus teacher training and franchise. If you want to become an Abacus teacher trainer and want to become a part of Brunad Gym family you can contact us on the given number and also you can visit our website for more details So let's take an example to clear your doubt regarding ones place tens place and hundreds place okay example is 784 in this the 4 is at ones place the 8 is at tens place and the 7 is at hundreds place in the same way if we want to place 784 on master abacus then 4 will be placed on ones rod 
8 will be placed on 10's rod and 7 will be placed on 100's rod. So in this way we will bifurcate 784. Okay, I hope it's clear. So it is same as you have learned place value in your score. It's not that different. Okay, so 4 is at 1's place, 8 at 10's place and 7 at 100's place. I hope it's clear. So let's just revise one more time and then we will move to how to read the beads. Ready? So, this is Master Abacus. Yes, this is Student Abacus. Perfect. What? The beads which are downwards, Earth beads. The beads which are upwards, Heaven beads. Value of Earth bead, 1. Value of Heaven bead, 5. Perfect. What is this? Value bar. Why do we call it value bar? Now tell me, hurry up. Yes. When earth beat and heaven beat touches the value bar, it will give you a value. Perfect. So, what is this? Unit dot. The rod below it. Which rod? One's rod. On the left, tens rod. On the left, hundreds, rod. So, we are done with introduction to Abacus and now we will move further to how to read the beads. I hope you are ready. So, the beads which are downwards are earth beads and the beads which are upwards are heaven beads. If this bead is touching the value bar, you will read it by using your index finger. As I have told you, the beads which will touch the value bar will give you a value. And the value of earth bead is 1. So, 1 bead is touching the value bar. So, answer is 1. Okay? Now, let's take another example. You have to use your index finger. You will keep your index finger on the screen and then you will read it. Jitni beads hamari value bar se touch hongi, wo hi hamara answer hoga. Ab hame isko read karna, then how you will read it? Use your index finger. Yaha se niche jayenge, from top to bottom. One, two. Ab hame in beads ko read nahi karenge, because these beads are not touching the value bar. So, one, two. Answer is two. Next, now you will tell me the answer, hurry up. Answer is 1, 2, 3. Answer is 3. Just be loud. Jitna aap loud bol ke karoge, utna hi aap quickly answer de paoge, right? So, 1, 2, 3. Answer is 3. Okay, next. Hurry up, hurry up. User index finger touches on the screen and then give me the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer is 4. Okay, now tell me what's the answer? 2, 1, 2, answer is 2. Okay, next. 1, 2, 3, answer is 3. The way I am reading the beads loudly and touching it, you have to do it in the same way. Okay, now let's move further. Now we will include heaven bead as well. So value of heaven bead is 5. If this bead is touching the value bar, then it's giving you a value. So answer is 5. Yes. Next. So, now we will read this. Karenge? You have to use your index finger. First, we will read this and then we will move to earth bead. 5 and 6. 5 and 1 nahi bolna apne. You are not supposed to say 5 and 1. No. 5, 6. Okay. So, answer is 6. Next example. Now, how you will read it? 5, 6. 7. Answer is 7. Perfect. Okay, next. Now tell me answer. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Answer is 9. Perfect. Okay, the next one. 5, 6, 7, 8. Answer 8. Okay, now. 1, 
2. Answer is 2. We will not read 5 because heaven bead is not touching the value bar. Okay, jitni beads hamari value bar se touch hoti hai, we will count just those beads. Okay, so answer is 2. Okay, now tell me. 5, 6, 7, 8. Answer is 8. I hope it's clear. Now, we will be including tense rod as well. Okay? Now, if you want to guess, you can. Uh, then I'll explain you. Okay. So, here, first we will read the tense rod. Hum sabse pehle kya read karenge? Tense rod. Uske baad hum one rod pe jayenge. Okay? So, here, we will read the tense place. And then we will read the ones place. So, here it's one. Keep that one in your mind. Okay? Now move to the ones place. Here also it's one. So, one, one, eleven. It's not two because our tense rod hai and this is ones rod. So, one, one, eleven. Two, our one place ones place, pe place karenge, so this will be two. Okay? So this is 1, 1, 11. Now let's take another example. So here also you will first read the tense place and then you will move to the ones place. 1, 2. Just keep that 2 in your mind. And then ones place. 1, 2. 2, 2. 22. Ye mistake nahi karni aapne ki aapne kiya 1, 2. Fit 3, 4. This is wrong. Okay? Aap pehle tense place ko read karo. Then ones place read karo. Okay? So this is 2. And again this is 2. 2, 2. 22. Okay? Next example. Now you have to tell me the answer. First we will read the tense place. Just read it. Yes? 1, 2, 3, 4. Just keep that 4 in your mind. Move to the ones place. Here also it's 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 4. 44. Clear? Okay. Next example. Now you will read again the tens place and then ones place. Just tell me first. I hope you have guessed the answer. Now I will be telling you the answer. Tens place 5, 6. Keep that 6 in your mind. 1's place. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yaan pe kitna tha? 6. And here it is 9. So 6, 9, 69. Good. Next example. Hurry up, hurry up. I hope you have understood and you can give me the answers quickly. Tell me hurry up. At 10's place. 5. 6, 7. At once place. 1, 2, 3, 4. 10 space pe kitna tha? 7. And at once place. 4. 7, 4. 74. Clear? Now tell me the answer. Hurry up. At 10 place. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Keep that 9 in your mind. Now, 1's place. It's 5. 9, 5. 90, 5. Clear? Next. Okay, now tell me. At 10's place, it's 5, 6, 7. Yes? And at 1's place, it's 0. So, 7, 0. 70. It's not 7. We have 0 at one's place. Okay? So, 7, 0, 70. Perfect. I hope it's clear till here. Now, we will be including 100's rod as well. Okay? So, just pay attention. And again, you have to answer me quickly. Okay? So, we will read 100's place. Then, 10's. And then ones. So here it is. One. Just keep that one in your mind. At tens place again it's one. 
that keep that thing also in your mind and then at ones place that is also one so one 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 it's 111 clear next example now tell me hurry up at hundreds place it's one two keep that two in your mind tens place one two keep that two in your mind at ones place one two so two 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 answer is 222 perfect now tell me hurry up at hundreds place it's one two three four four okay at tens place one at ones place one two three so answer is four one three that is 413. Next example. So, at hundreds place it is 5. At tens place 5, 6. At ones place 1. So, answer is 5, 6, 1. That is 561. Okay, next example, hurry up. At hundreds place, 5, 6, 7. Now, at tens place, it's 0. Aapne isko skip ni karna. You have to count it. It's 7 and it's 0. Now, ones place, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, answer is 7, 0, 9. That is 709. One more example. Okay. Now, tell me. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 at hundreds place. At tens place, it's 0. At ones place also, it's 0. So, answer is 400. Let's take another example. So, first we will read hundreds place. Answer 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Keep that 9 in your mind. Tens place. 5, 6, 7. Now at ones place it's 0. So, answer is 9, 7, 0 that is 970. Now we are done with our introduction to Abacus and we have learned how to read the beads. Kindly like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Also tell us aapko humare video kaisi lagi and which topic you want to learn next. Next and for more videos and for the notification kindly click on bell icon. Also, we have recorded courses of our Abacus on the website given below. Kindly go and visit that. We have online courses for Abacus and our short term courses. Our short term courses are Rubik Cubes, Handwriting Improvement, Vedic Maths, English Grammar and Spoken French etc. So, to know more about our courses, kindly visit our website www.brunadjit.com. New batches are starting soon for all our courses. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now! Brunat Gym Academy is providing Abacus teacher training and franchising. If you want to become an Abacus teacher trainer and want to become a part of Brunat Gym family, you can contact us on the given number and also you can visit our website for more details. Brunanjum Academy of Abacus. In today's session, we are going to start with week 2 in which we will learn how to use fingers and learn how to do addition and subtraction of digits using direct method. But before starting with week 2, let's just revise week 1. I hope you have completed your homework and you have understood how to read and draw the beads. So, before starting with the revision, I want students to kindly sit straight with bent knees. 
if you are sitting on bed so kindly shift to your study table as bed is not the best place to sit and study so let's just begin with our revision so what's the answer you will use your index finger to read the beads 1 2 3 answer is 3 in the last class i have explained you the beads which will touch the value bar will give you a value so three beads touch orient so answer is three now tell me what's the answer one two three four answer is four yes now answer five as the value of heaven bead is five now answer five six Seven. Answer is seven. Okay, now tell me. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Answer is nine. You have to speak loudly. Okay, now we have used the one straw. Now we will include ten straw as well. Okay. So first we will read the beads which are on tens place, and then we will move to the ones place. Okay. So here we have one. So keep that one in your mind. And then again at one straw. One. One one. Eleven. Now tell me. First we will read the tens please. One. Two. Three. Keep that three in your mind. Now move to one's place. One. Three one. Thirty one. Okay, now tell me. You have to speak loudly, okay? Tens place first. Five, six. Keep that six in your mind. Move to the ones place. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, nine. Sixty-nine. Perfect. Okay, one more. Now tell me. One, two, three. And here it's zero. So three, zero. 30. Now we will include hundreds rod as well. So what's the answer? Read it accordingly. First read the hundreds place, then tens place and then ones place. Okay. So here 1. Keep that 1 in your mind. Move to the tens place. 1, 2, 3. Now at ones place 1. So 131. You can read like this as well. 131. One. Now, first hundred place, one, two, three, four, at tens place, five, ones place, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Answer, four, five, nine or four hundred and fifty-nine. Okay, now tell me, hurry up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9, here it's 0 and at one's place 5. So answer is 905. Clear? Let's do the last one. Okay, tell me. 5, 6, 7, 0, 0. So answer is 700. I hope you have given me all the correct answers. So we have to keep three important things in our mind. The first one, you have to use your abacus with your right hand. You have to use your abacus with your right hand. But if you are a left hand person, then you can use it with your left hand. I hope the first point is clear. Let's move to the second point. The second point is you have to speak loudly. You have to speak loudly. Now what you have to speak loudly? You have to speak the numbers or the digits that we will do on Abacus. Jo hum digits karenge, aap usko pehle loudly bologe and then you will do it on Abacus. I hope the second point is clear to you. Now let's move to the third point. The third point is you have to keep your left hand's index finger on the sum. Hum jo bhi sum karenge, you have to keep your left hand's index finger on it and you will move it accordingly.
I hope the three points are clear. Let's just revise the three points. You will speak after me. Okay. The first point. You have to use your abacus with your right hand. Speak after me. You have to use your abacus with your right hand. Perfect. Second point. We have to speak loudly. The second point is you have to speak loudly. Perfect. Third point. You have to keep your left hand's index finger on the sum. Repeat. You have to keep your left hand's index finger on the sum. Perfect. These important things you have to keep it in your mind in each and every class. I hope it's clear. Now let's move to the next part. I have told you that we will learn how to use fingers, right? If you are using your abacus with our right hand, then we are not supposed to use all the five fingers. We will just use thumb and finger. What you will use? Thumb and finger. Thumb and finger. Keep your hand like this. Thumb, finger. Thumb, finger. Perfect. These three fingers will not be used. Okay? Hum abacus jab bhi use karenge, hum sirf thumb or finger use karenge. Baki three fingers use nahi karenge. Clear? I hope you have clear how to use fingers. Ab aage chalte hai ki hum beats ko up down kaun se finger se karenge. Clear? Now just focus here. I hope it's clear that we are just supposed to use thumb and finger. Okay, in the first session, I have told you that the beads which are downwards are earth beads and the beads which are upwards are heaven beads. Now, we use thumb and finger. Use so, let's just understand that we bead ko hum thumb se up down and which bead we use finger. Se up down karenge. Okay? So, First, let's just talk about our thumb. We will do our earth bead up with thumb. Earth bead up with thumb. Clear? And the rest of the work will be done with finger. And the rest of the work will be done with finger. What's the rest of the work? Let's just understand first. Earth bead up with thumb. Earth bead down with thumb. Finger. Earth beat down with finger. Earth beat ko down hum finger se karenge. Heaven beat down with finger. Heaven beat ko down hum finger se karenge. Heaven beat up with again finger. Heaven beat up with finger. Sip thumb ka ye rola that we will do earth beat up with thumb. Earth beat up with thumb. Earth beat down with finger. Heaven beat down with finger. Heaven beat up with finger. Kindly like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Also tell us aapko humare video kaisi lagi and which topic you want to learn next. Next. And for more videos and for the notification kindly click on bell icon. Also we have recorded courses of our abacus on the website given below. Kindly go and visit that. We have online courses for Abacus and our short term courses. Our short term courses are Rubik Cubes, Handwriting Improvement, Vedic Maths, English Grammar and Spoken French etc. So, to know more about our courses kindly visit our website www.brunadjit.com so, New batches are starting soon for all our courses. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now! Brunad Gym Academy is providing Abacus teacher training and franchising. If you want to become an Abacus teacher trainer and want to become a part of Brunad Gym family, you can contact us on the given number and also you can visit our website for more details. Gym Academy of Abacus. How are you all? I hope you all are doing fine. So in today's session we are going to start with week 3 in which we will learn about small friends of addition. In the last class we have learned week 2 in which we have learned how to use fingers using direct method. So 
Before starting with week 3, let's just revise week 2. I want students to kindly sit straight with bent knees and still if you are sitting on your bed, kindly shift to your study table. In week 2, the first thing that we have learned was the three important things. The first one was, I hope you remember, you have to use your abacus with your right hand. The first point was, you have to use your abacus with your right hand. But if you write with your left hand, then you can use abacus with your left hand. Fine, mostly students write with the right hand, so you will use the abacus with right hand only. Fine, directly, like this. We don't need a formula use karne ki need nahi hai. Direct method basically means you can do addition and subtraction directly. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's just move and do the sum on Abacus and then we will start with today's new concept. Now I'll be doing the sum on Master Abacus and you will do the same sum along with me. Just sit straight and speak the number loudly after me. Clear? Plus 2. Fingers ka achche se dhyan rakhna. Jo fingers aapko teach kai gai hai. Usi cheez ko achche se use karna. Clear? Plus 2. So plus 2 with thumb or finger. Thumb. First speak the number plus 2. Plus 1. Plus 2. It should be done on unit door. Clear? Plus 1. Plus 1 with thumb or finger. Thumb. Plus 2. 1 minus 2. Now it's minus. Thumb ham usme use nahi karenge. Clear? So minus 2. So minus 2 with finger. Minus 1 minus 2. Plus 5. Plus 5 with finger. Plus 5. Plus 3. A plus 3 with thumb or finger. Thumb. Plus 1. Plus 2, plus 3. Minus 7. Again it's minus, so minus is always done with finger. A minus 7 hai, to aapne minus mein sabse pehle 5 leke jaoge, then 6, then 7. Isko opposite ni karna ki pehle aap 2 minus kar rahe ho, phir 5 leke ja rahe ho. That is wrong. Okay? To pehle hum minus 5, minus 6, then minus 7. Is way se karenge. Clear? I hope week 2's concept is clear as we have done the revision. Now we will start with today's concept that is small friends of addition. So ready? We will start with today's concept small friends. So we will do the uh, sum on Abacus then we will understand when and how to use small friends. Clear? Okay. Plus 4. Do along with me on your Abacus. Plus 4. Plus 1. Plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. Plus 5. Plus 5 with finger right. Plus 5. Minus 7. Minus 7 with finger right. Minus 5, minus 6, minus 7. Plus 2. Plus 2 with thumb right. Plus 1, plus 2. Now plus 1. Now we have to make plus 1. Are we able to do plus 1 in this? Tell me, hurry up, yes or no? No. Friends, when we have no addition or addition or subtraction, we will use small friends. Clear? We will use small friends. Perfect. Now, we have total small friends 5. How many total small friends are there? 5. Use your left hand. Just consider it as your game. Clear? You will use your left hand and these five fingers are your total small friends. Clear? Now total small friends are clear. Now we will see what happens in the next one. Ka friend kya hota hai? What you will do is now you will open your one finger and close the rest. Now if I ask you what is the friend of one? The fingers that are closed is the friend of one. So what will happen to one ka friend? 4. To give 4 fingers. Band hai. Clear? Friend of 1 is 4. Friend of 2? Apne hand pe dekho. Yes, kitni band hai? 1, 2, 3. So friend of 2 is 3. Friend of 3? Apne hand pe check karo pehle. Fata fata kitni fingers band hai? 2. 1, 2. So friend of 3? 
टू फ्रेंड ऑफ फोर वन फ्रेंड ऑफ टू थ्री फ्रेंड ऑफ फोर वन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर लेट जस्ट राइट डाउन द टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स हेयर टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स आर फाइव फ्रेंड ऑफ वन इज फोर फ्रेंड ऑफ टू थ्री फ्रेंड ऑफ थ्री टू फ्रेंड ऑफ फोर वन काइंडली लाइक शेयर कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल ऑल्सो टेल एस आपको हमारी वीडियो कैसी लगी एंड विच टॉपिक यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट एंड फॉर मोर वीडियोज एंड फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन काइंडली क्लिक ऑन बिल आई कैन ऑल्सो वी हैव रिकॉर्डेड कोर्सेज ऑफ आर पैकेज ऑन द वेबसाइट गिविन बिलो काइंडली गो एंड विजिट दैट we have online courses for abacus and our short term courses our short term courses are rubik cubes handwriting improvement vedic maths english grammar and spoken french etc so to know more about our courses kindly visit our website www.brunajit.com so new batches are starting soon for all our courses so what are you waiting for enroll now Renat Gym Academy is providing a backus teacher training and franchisee. If you want to become an abacus teacher trainer and want to become a part of Renat Gym family, you can contact us on the given number and also you can visit our website for more details. all friends now we let's just understand the formulas okay so just pay attention here just sit straight and be focused okay do the sum along with me or your abacus plus 2 fingers ka dhyan rakhna hai thumb se karenge ya fingers se thumb plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 with thumb plus 1 plus Five. So plus five with finger. Plus five. Plus one. Plus one with thumb. Plus one. Minus five. Minus five with finger. Minus five. Now we have to do plus one. A plus one करने. Are we able to use the direct method? No. Right? Then what you will use? Small. friends when we are unable to use the direct method then we will use small friends ab isme hum plus 1 karenge kaise that is the question right so we will understand the formulas that which formula will be used to do plus 1 so just focus ab hame plus 1 karna hai so first we will see the friend of 1 what is the friend of 1 just count on your fingers 1 2 3 4 friend of 1 is Four and total small friends five. So formula क्या बनेगा? हम पहले उस four ली बोलेंगे. Plus five minus four. Total small friends कितने होते हैं? Five और one का friend क्या था? Four. तो formula बनेगा plus five minus four. जो हमारे total friends हैं हम उसको plus करेंगे और जो हमारा one का friend था हम उसको minus करेंगे. Clear? Let's do it again. Place four again on your abacus. Now we have to do plus two. What we have to do plus two. So friend of two, one, two, three. Friend of two is three. You can see there as well. Friend of two is three, and total small friends five. So formula will be plus five minus. थ्री हमें टू करना है तो टू का फ्रेंड देखेंगे टू का फ्रेंड होता है थ्री तो प्लस फाइव माइनस थ्री माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री आंसर इज सिक्स लेट्स टेक वन एन अदर एग्जाम्पल प्लेस फोर ऑन योर बैक इज अगेन डू द सम अलोंग विद मी इससे आपके कंसेप्ट इजीली क्लियर होते जाएंगे क्लियर नाउ वी हैव टू डू प्लस थ्री तो फॉर्मूला फॉर प्लस थ्री विल बी अब प्लस थ्री हम डायरेक्ट मेथड यूज नहीं कर पा रहे तो हम स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स यूज करेंगे तो प्लस थ्री का फॉर्मूला हम सबसे पहले किसका फ्रेंड देखेंगे थ्री का क्योंकि हमें प्लस थ्री करना है सो फ्रेंड ऑफ थ्री इज टू राइट एंड टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स 
फाइव सो फॉर्मूला विल बी प्लस फाइव माइनस टू पहले फॉर्मूला और ही बोलना है राइट प्लस फाइव माइनस टू आंसर सेवन लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल नाउ वी हैव फोर अगेन वी हैव टू डू प्लस फोर सो फॉर्मूला फॉर प्लस फोर विल बी तो सबसे पहले किसका फ्रेंड देखेंगे फोर का क्योंकि हमें प्लस फोर करना है सो फ्रेंड ऑफ फोर इज वन एंड टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स फाइव तो आप बताओ व्हाट विल बी द फॉर्मूला प्लस फाइव माइनस वन परफेक्ट प्लस फाइव माइनस वन आंसर इज एट आई होप दिस इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स जस्ट राइट डाउन द फॉर्मूला ओवर हियर ओके सो फॉर्मूला फॉर प्लस वन टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स फाइव सो एंड फ्रेंड ऑफ वन इज फोर सो फॉर्मूला विल बी प्लस फाइव माइनस फोर यस प्लस फाइव दैट इज आर टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स एंड माइनस वन का फ्रेंड फोर तो माइनस फोर क्लियर आगे प्लस टू का फॉर्मूला आप बताओ पहले देन आई एक्सप्लेन यस टोटल स्मॉल फ्रेंड्स फाइव एंड फ्रेंड ऑफ टू इज थ्री सो फॉर्मूला विल बी प्लस फाइव माइनस थ्री गुड नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूला फॉर प्लस थ्री विल बी प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव तो हमें करना ही है आगे माइनस फ्रेंड ऑफ थ्री इज टू तो माइनस टू सो फॉर्मूला फॉर प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव माइनस वन Is it clear now? Kindly like, share, comment and subscribe our channel. Also tell us आपको हमारी वीडियो कैसी लगी and which topic you want to learn next. Next and for more videos and for the notification kindly click on bell icon. Also we have recorded courses of our abacus on the website given below. Kindly go and visit that. We have online courses for abacus and our short term courses. Short term courses are Rubik cubes, handwriting improvement, Vedic maths, English grammar and spoken French etc. So to know more about our courses kindly visit our website www.brunadjit.com. So new batches are starting soon for all our courses. So what are you waiting for? Enroll now. Brunadjit Academy is providing a batches teacher training and franchise. If you want to become an Abacus teacher trainer and want to become a part of Brunadjim family you can contact us on the given number and also you can visit our website for more details